In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stroke text flicker effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we first want to begin by creating a brand new text layer. So we'll go up to the T icon in After Effects and we'll select anywhere in the black video and we'll type out a word of your choice. Now you just want to go ahead and center this up. So we'll load up the proportional grid and then we'll just center that in the middle of our composition. Now from here, you want to go ahead and duplicate this text layer. So we'll go command C, command V. If you're on Windows, that's control C, control V, copy and paste. Now we're just going to turn off the original text layer. So we'll turn the eyeball off. We'll go to Brooker 2. That is our second text layer. We'll go into the character window, which is on the right of After Effects. Now in the character tab, you can see we've got this section over here. We've got these boxes overlapping each other. So the one in the foreground is the fill color and the one in the background is the stroke color. So basically we want to remove the fill and add a stroke. So in order to remove the fill, select that box, make sure that one's in the foreground and then select this no fill color button. So that will remove the fill. Now we'll select the box in the background. This is the stroke. If you want to change the stroke color, you can do so by selecting it and selecting a color of your choice. But if not, just leave it as white. And then we'll go down to this section here. And this is the stroke width. If you want to make this a thick stroke, then just increase the number. If you want to make this quite thin, then just decrease. It's completely up to you and your discretion, but I'm going to leave that at roughly five. So if I turn on the background layer, we've got fill and stroke, fill and stroke. So essentially, we're just going to flicker between these two layers when it comes to making our flicker effect. So in order to create the flicker effect, we're going to go into opacity. So select the first title or we'll drag that above. So the fill is now on top. We'll select T on the keyboard to load up opacity. And then we'll just go roughly a second in. We'll create a brand new keyframe on opacity. So select the stopwatch icon. We'll move one frame to the right, pull this down to zero, and then we'll move another frame to the right and pull this back up to 100. Now, when we play this back, you can see we've got this flicker. Now, if you want multiple flickers, then all you have to do is select all of those keyframes, hold Command C or Control C, move over and Control V, Command V. So we'll just add as many as you like. And if we play this back, you can see we've got this stroke flicker effect happening. Of course, though, this flicker is applying to the entire word. Every single letter is being affected in this flicker effect. So how do we target each individual letter? Well, we're just going to begin by removing all of those keyframes that we just created. So highlight them all, press delete, and that should get rid of them all. Now, we want to make multiple copies of this word. So my word is Brooker. So that's B-R-O-O-K-E-R, seven characters. So we need seven versions of that text. So we'll just completely hide the stroke layer. We'll just padlock that one off for now, just so we don't get confused. Then we'll copy this Brooker layer six times. So we'll go Command V, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should now have seven versions of the fill layer. You just want to double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. So we're going to go into the bottom one. We'll zoom in on our text. We'll go up to the pen tool, select the pen tool, and we'll just draw a mask around B. Now we'll move to the next line up and we'll draw a mask around R. We'll move up to the next and we'll do a mask around O. And you get the vibe here. You just want to keep doing this for each individual letter. And there you go. So every single letter should have their own layer. Now, in order to do this flicker effect, we want to go back into opacity. We'll create a brand new keyframe on opacity at 100%. We'll move over one frame to the right, pull this down to zero and go back up to 100% on the next frame. So 100, zero, 100. And that should have just targeted the letter B. There you go. So we'll just copy that and we'll just paste a few more on to the letter B. Now we're going to select opacity. We're going to select that whole opacity layer, hold command C to copy and then we'll just paste that onto every other layer. So when we open this up, you can see we've got all of those keyframes on our opacity. 
Of course though, they're all in the exact same place as the original letter. So feel free to move these groups of keyframes around. It's completely up to you. Now, if we play this back, you can see we've got the stroke effect happening on all of our characters. Of course, sometimes it's flickering on all of the characters at the same time. So if that's the case, then just delete some of the keyframes from some of the characters or just move their keyframes around. It's completely up to you. So there you go. That is how you create this stroke flicker text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.